Yo, what is good YouTube? What is good YouTube? What is good YouTube? Today is the day that I finally put my K&N air filter into my Dodge Durango. I'm so tired. I just woke up, bro. I'm, I've been sick the past like couple days and took a lot of medicine and stuff last night. So I feel a little bit better. Nose is still stuffed up, but either way, it's, it's as nice as it's going to get outside. It's my day off work. So perfect time to do it, right? Um, so got the Canon air filter that I showed you guys from the last time or time. I don't know if I even showed you guys this, but anyways, yeah, Canon air filter that I'm going to be putting um, in my car. Um, this one that I got um, is supposed to add horsepower and torque to your vehicle. And to be honest, I don't know. I don't really hear like a lot of uh, like um, Canon air filters doing that, like or just feel like cold air intakes in general. But um, I don't know. We'll see the difference whenever I put it in and see if I feel anything different or if it has like a louder sound to it. We'll just go with the flow of it. But just so you know, this video is not more of a how to video. I ended up watching a video on YouTube that told me and showed me exactly like the basics of like just switching it out from like the um, the stock one and putting the cold air intake in. So I will link that video below, even though that video has nothing to do with me. I'm still going to promote it in a way because like if you're looking for more of like a how to video with step by steps, I'll post that link that I watched um, in the description um, under this video right here so that you guys can get more of a feel because I don't want nobody commenting and being like, you didn't really show us how to do it. This ain't a how-to video, I promise you. It's just more so like me swapping out my uh, my stock to my cold air intake. Anyways, without further ado, I'm about to go outside. Um, and yeah, I'm no type of mechanic, so I don't know exactly what all I need to do. But I'm sure it's going to be very simple based off of um, off of that video that I watched. So let's just, let's go, bro. Let's go. All right, y'all. So here's the unboxing version of it. I know this part goes on the top of like the box part. These two go on the ends um, where the clamps go on. I know that. This is the new hose that goes, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm probably, probably gonna sound really <laughs> dumb a lot. Throughout a lot of this, I'm probably gonna sound dumb because I don't know shit. I don't, bro, I'm not really a car guy, but I know I love cars, but I'm not a car guy. If that makes any sense before y'all was like, well, you're not really a car guy. Listen. Mind your business, bro. And then we have our... We have the actual, like, intake. I know that this right here, the there's something from that. They got to go in here and spin in there. And then the hose, if I'm correct, goes into this. Well, it goes in here and it goes into the new part. If I'm correct, if I'm correct, I think it's this way. And then obviously I would put my screws in. This is like the box that would sit um, where the cold air intake with the actual filter would be right here. The tube will be right there. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. I just got to screw all. I know this all got to get screwed in somehow, some way. And yeah, I ended up before I even go outside, I try to just get like some stuff already prepped. So like the rubber piece that I was telling you guys about, I ended up putting that on top of this already. The circle thing I ended up putting in there for the filter. I got the filter right here. And as you can see, it already has one of the clamps on it. This is the filter. This will just go onto this like here. And then basically, whenever it's in the car, it would sit like this. And I would just like obviously twist and tie down the clamp, make sure it's locked. Um, still got the hose for it. Got two other clamps that I'm going to need. So that I did put the rubber. The rubber pieces already added onto this, along with the the hose um, extension. And then I got. Uh, this rubber piece on, this rubber piece on, and I clamp down the back sides of it. I just got to put the clamps in the front whenever I go to obviously add that on just to uh, make sure it's in place and locked. But besides that, I think I've got the basics already on to it to where I don't have to go outside and just mess around a lot. And yeah, I think I'm just take, we'll just take all this out. But I think I'm ready to go. Just uh, pop off the old one, put on the new one, and yeah, let's see if it makes any difference whenever it comes to driving. I don't, I don't know if it will. I don't, you know, I don't know. But all in all, we, I know that um, a lot of people change out their their stock filters with um, cold air intakes. Um, so obviously, for a lot of like sports people to do it or uh, people with cars and, and mods, it's like a very, I would say it's a cheaper mod depending on which filter you go with, which cold air intake you go with, but. For the most part, I feel like a lot of people um, definitely switch out the cold air intake for the over the stock. So, anyways, yeah, I think I got everything I need. Should I bring this how to just in case? Maybe. 
Is this it? No. Look at the bad boy, y'all. Look at the bad boy. Listen, I need y'all to go crazy and double tap the screen, y'all. <laughs> Go crazy and like this video a lot. I need to get some window tent in the or some window tent in the front, bro. Too expensive for me. But y'all can see the car. You got the screwdriver out back? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Alright, y'all. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Then we got the stock air intake right here. Or stock, whatever. Yeah. Intake. I mean, I guess that makes sense. And you got the 5.7. You know, it's not a 6.2, 6.4, but it's okay. The engine bay is not too dirty. It's actually uh, pretty clean. I ended up finding these gloves. I don't even know what I had these gloves for, but I ended up finding these gloves. So, yeah. I know a couple things got to come out. I don't know, like, this has to come out, this bolt. We can start off by taking this off, like they did in the videos. And then... Well, this definitely needs a little wipe down, but um, I know we start by taking this off. This is the hose that we're going to unplug whenever it comes to it. I'm going to take these clips right here, down and here off, which I should turn up the brightness so you guys can see a little bit better. But like there's these two clips that would just pop off like this. And that would just lift up. This whole box would come out. And if I'm correct, after that, it should just pull up after I take this off, unloosen this, the clamp, th take that off. This is a very simple thing, um, but like I said, this is not going to be more of a how-to. It's going to be more of just, uh, yeah, y'all get the point. So, anyways, let's pop this off, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so um, based off of it, I got this. You have to pull this part off right here, which is connected into, I got the hair on me, connected in the hair. I ended up taking the clamps off. I took this screw off. Very simple steps. I unscrewed this. So, at this point, this should all just pop off. Boom. I mean, I'm not a whatever. A mechanic. But it's like, um, <laughs> now as you guys can see, we have throttle plate right here. This is the throttle plate. Um, we got off every piece that we needed. Now this part has to come out, which had to, from based off of what they said on the video that I watched, you just pop this out right there. And then this should just slide up out of there. Um, oh no. Is it about to rain? Yep. Okay, right, let's see. watch how fast we do this, y'all. I mean, hey, I can move into the garage. Oh, no, I can't. This is all. All right, boom. So, I got to take off. There's like two rubber pieces it told me I should take off. But I'm only seeing one right here. So, they must have lost. Oh, no, no, these two rubber pieces. So, I'll take off this and this. that out and then on the new one let's put this over here come on ready. don't start with me now don't start with me now let's see how fast we can do this ready so these will pop into the new one that you just that I just popped off the old one it would want to rain right now and then this just goes in here like this Is it this way? Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. so. Why is it like super short? Unless that's what that one thing is. Like that? Mm hmm. That doesn't seem right, but maybe it is. As long as it ain't pouring, we're good, right? So this would just go into here like this. So just slide, make sure that's tight, tight on there, and then just start tightening that clamp on there. That that filter is definitely on there. But we'll give it like another little twist just to make sure. Yep, that's on there. All right, so now from this point on, this would go like this go in here. This would go up. Oh, damn. It's this metal thing. Boom. Now we we'll just screw this on. So 
So as you guys can see, I have the filter on, everything snug in place. I got this clamp tight and this clamp tight, and I'm gonna check everything one more time. I ended up putting it over here. Got these two clamps real tight. That's not coming out in any way. Now, last but least, I got this piece put into here, which this right here is gonna plug into, but because look how short it is, that's where I got the extension at. The extension comes with it. I would just plug that part into one. Obviously, that would fit perfectly. Last but not least, it's the hose, which let me do that real quick. So the hose would just go from to here like this. Ah, probably gonna do some, uh, let me see over here. Unless I got them on. Oh, that thing will be hard to put on. Yo, I'm gonna put this on, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, from the looks of it, you are gonna have this gap right here because of obviously taking off this piece. You're gonna have a gap where you can like actually just see through the airflow. But obviously once you shut the hood, it's gonna cover it up. Um, I did not have one of the hoods that have um, like the, the newer hoods, so water and stuff won't really creep through. But at this point, it's pretty much about a startup to see how the startup sounds. And we'll go from there, but everything is in. I got the extension plugged into here. Uh, I got the hose tightly sealed. I'm gonna check it one more time because I don't know. If it, I mean, it is, but it's, I don't know. I'm gonna check it one more time on there and make sure like it doesn't come off at all during driving right there. And yeah, everything's pretty much sealed and locked in for the cold air intake. Um, I don't know how often we change these out. I'm gonna look into all of that, but yeah. Anyways, that's it, y'all. That's what it looks like with it being in there. And it's probably gonna look even better with the hood. Like, with the... I need to do some cleaning up on, on the engine bay a little bit more, bro. But, but that's what it'll look like whenever it's all in. I just gotta tweak with this and make sure it looks better and goes down all the way. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, at this point, I'm gonna do a cold start on it so you can hear what it sounds like. And just to make sure that everything here is working properly to see if I hear any sound difference. All right, no engine light. All right, so there's no engine lights. We're good on that end. No lights popping up because of it. See if I hear any much of a difference when I step on it. Just hold it by, like right there, like that. Not bad, not bad. Um. I'm gonna end up going to the gym. Well, let me see, cause that looks so bright, bro. I'm gonna go to the gym. So I'm end up driving my car to go to the gym. Uh, and basically, while I'm driving to the gym, I'll just bring my camera and just see how it is driving. See if it's like any difference, if I feel any little, I'll probably step on it just a little bit to see if I feel any different like horsepower, uh, any torque, see if it takes off faster at a red light. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but. Uh, yeah, that was the install for mine. Like I said, it's, it, if you get the kit that I got, I'll also post the kit that I got, the link to that for my car. But it, it really, well, I guess it really doesn't matter. I have a 2016 Dodge Durango RT, uh, the 5.7 V8. And basically, the you just gotta make sure that the intake is gonna be meant for your car. So like, definitely check that out whenever uh, you go to try to get a cold air intake. Um, like I said, I'm not here to promote all this different type of stuff. Uh, it's not like I got the shit for free, bro. But um, yeah, like I said, to the, a step-by-step -step install, if you have like a 2016 Dodge Durango RT, um, it will be down in the description uh, for that video for like step-by-step -step video. But the instructions that come with it, they basically tell you the same exact thing that that video did. Um, very quick, easy install. I thought it was gonna take longer just cause it was my first time ever changing it out. But for the most part, it sounds good. Um, definitely feel i don't know we'll just see i really don't know about the driving part yet but uh yeah i'll catch you guys shortly here whenever i get ready to go to the gym so yeah 
see y'all, man. What's good, y'all? What's good, what's good, what's good? About to head to the gym. So at this point, I'm just gonna do like a point of view video based off of like, is it gonna sound any better driving? Does it take off a little better? Do I feel like a little bit more torque? The rest of that, anyways, ready for the gym. And um, yeah, let's just finish off this video and just see if I notice any difference in at all. I mean, some people do, some people, I, I've seen videos where people say they do. I've seen videos where people say they don't. To be honest, I really don't know. But like, I wanted to get it because I wanted to get one and you know, it is it is what it is. So uh, it looks cooler in the engine bay. It looks better. My nose is so stuffed. All right, y'all, I'm gonna switch over to like point of view and just, uh, yeah, go with the point of that or just update you on if I feel anything different. Anyways, smash that like button. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this far into the video. Thank you, appreciate it. All right, go ahead and switch that over to drive. All right, let's see if we notice anything pulling off. You know, just slotty. It's hard to tell, I mean, like if, Honestly, I just don't know if I feel a difference, but like, let me see. I feel like it, it gives off of more. So if I can say I noticed anything instantly is the throttle, the throttle response and just like being able to hear the throttle more. I don't know if I really hear it being louder. Does it sound louder at all? I don't really think I hear it. No, it says that like sometimes you, I really don't want to like go crazy on the street because it's my street and uh, you know, you never really want to drive crazy on your own street. You know, you don't want the neighbors to hate you. Um, I don't know. like you could definitely hear it around like three between three I'll say like 3500 rpm you could hear the throttle a lot more and it sounds it does sound good around like three to four thousand it's not bad though it's not bad I mean I don't gotta I feel like obviously the engine don't gotta work as hard to like get some get more air into it so like it's gonna have a better response but overall I don't know I'm not gonna drive like a maniac right now um, but I'll definitely update you guys more in the future. I need to get in the zone of the gym right now, so I kind of gotta, uh, kind of gotta um, play some music and let me see if I, I'm gonna do like a little switch and just add like a little bit of sports mode. Put the sport on. See if we uh, notice anything different in sports mode. Just on like a takeoff from a red light. <clears throat> Let's hope there ain't no cops. I ain't trying to get in trouble. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, you could definitely tell it picks up a little bit more. But overall, y'all, uh, I would definitely say little things. I do notice a difference. Um, if you ever got a cold air in uh, intake, like install, um, have you noticed anything different and uh, what exactly was it or over time, you know, maybe over time you might notice a couple more changes by uh, Switching over to a cold air intake instead of just having the stock inbox or stock. I mean, I guess I could say that stock box um, but yeah As that I'll see you guys in the next video y'all